Games of Thrones starts with surprising past. Peter Dinklage, he was an elf, now a big screen star in X-Men Days of Future Past, Peter Dinklage's breakout role was undoubtedly that of Thrones fan favorite Tyron Lannister, but in his pre in days, Peter won plotted for a stint on AG cable drama Nip Tuck and his performance in both the UK and US versions of Black Comedy Death at a funeral and who can forget his hilarious turn as Miles Pinch, the hot-tempered children's author who tussles with Will Ferrell's buddy in the holiday classic of Lena Headey. She was in Remains of the Day. Game of Thrones isn't the first time Lena Headey has played a formidable Mark in 2008 and 9. Terminator, the Sarah Connor Chronicles, she took on the task of stepping into Linda Hamilton's shoes. Her acclaimed performance earned a card following long before Jersey was born on the horizon 1993's The Remain of the Day, nominated for a total of Height Oscars and 2007's Bizarre Blockbuster through the 300 and among the stars notable big screen credits. Michelle Huseman. He was in Dutch pop. He was a Dutch popster. He may be one of the most dashing characters on Thrones as Daenerys bodyguard and lover Dario Nehars, but Michelle Huseman wasn't always the pinnacle of effortless cool he is now. In the early Michel fronted the band Fontaine, releasing a number of hit singles and later pursued a career as a solo artist. Think of him as the Dutch Gary Berlow. You can watch the simply spectacular music videos of Fontaine's of 2002 cut slap loose from the websites. Trust us, you will never look at Dashing Dario the same way again. Christian Nerin He was a DJ. He lets the music do the talking. Yes, actor Christian Nerin has a second career spinning discs. In fact, he it was decided that lovable order would skip a season Christian decided to spend his year of embarking on a GOT inspired music tour of Australia, promising the deepest house music from all seven kingdoms. His tour was called We Kid You Not, Rave of Thrones. Nicholas Coaster Will Dale. He was in Wimbledon. In the Days before HBO's fantasy hit, Nicola G. Costa Wildo was busy racking up a long and rather surprising list of credits in UK, US and his native Denmark. His early appearances in the likes of 2004's Wimbledon and the following year's Kingdom of Heaven are well documented. But you knew that the future King Slayer appeared into two episodes of Channel 4 short lived lock stock television series. Before Thrones, Nicolas had little luck on the small screen. His paranormal Fox drama New Amsterdam was exed in the 2008 after just eight episodes. Elfie Ellen He got necked on stage. Before he lost his dignity and much, much more at the ends of the vicious Ramsey Walden, the Theon Greyjoy got it all out of the stage. Alfie replaced Daniel Dead Redcliffe as the lead in Equus, yes, the one with the horses and the nostrils nude. Scene. He was presumably unconcerned about embarrassment, 
having previously starred in Agent Cody Banks 2 Destination London in 2004, John Wick after his Thrones debut was a better pick. Jack Gleason He was in Batman Begins. He may have retired from acting after breathing his last as the horrid Jeffrey, but Jack Gleason packed a lot into his comparatively short career. Not only did the terror rise the seven kingdoms he also hang out with batman not once but twice three years after he appeared alongside christian bell in 2002's region of fire jack popped up in batman begins playing the small but memorable role of a youth rescued by the carry holmes russell deals civil kekeli she made for four years for four seasons, she was comforting presence at Tyrone's side until she betrayed her former lover at his trial. But there's much more to actress Sibyl. She was owned two Lola Awards, the equivalent of an Oscar for her performance in German cinema. She also briefly starred in features of a more adult nature under the stage named Dilara. Aiden Gillen He was in Ireland's answer to Jules Holland. You probably know that Aiden Gillen, the actor behind Goats, Littlefinger and the master of the wavering accent, once starred in HBO's acclaimed drama The War as savvy politician Tommy Kersady. You might even be aware of his earlier role in Russell T. Davies' groundbreaking Channel 4 series, Queer as Folk. But did you know that Aiden branched out from acting to present Ireland's alternative music show Other Voices alongside co host Hugh Stephens, Littlefingers, and TV host? Teamed with an ex- excitable DJ sounds like an SNL sketch, but it's an actual thing that appeared. Huffer Julius Bojensen really is one of the world's strongest men. He is certainly an intimidating screen presence as Gregor, the mountain Clegane, but the six feet nine inch, four hundred pound star has actually been named. Ireland's strongest and three years running and even come second in the last year's world's strongest man competition. He also played professional basketball in Ireland until an injury cut his career short. Nathalie Emmanuel She fronted a teen sex documentary, famous for playing the handmaiden and trusted advisory of Daner's Actress Natalia Emelian was a mainstay of Hollyoaks between 2007 and 2010, appearing in almost 200 episodes as drug addict Sasha Valentine. Sasha was at the center of number of high-profile storylines on the Channel 4 soap involving violence, prostitution, and bring drinking. Almost sounds like a Game of Thrones episode. Emelian. The reverse resume has also seen her delve into teens' online sexual habits for BBC Three's Wave Sex, What's the Home, and at the teenage, tender age of 10, play a young Nala in the West End production of The Lion King. Keisha Castle Hughes She was a queen in Star Wars. Keisha Castle Hughes, whose opera was brilliantly dismissed as Barbara by Olena Tyrell, a played a small but pivotal role in the last of George Lucas' Star Wars prequels. Apeliana was Padme Amidala's successor as Queen of Napo, serving during the final days of the Clone Wars. It's a far cry from Obara Sent, daughter of the Red Viper. Percy Van Houten. 
she was a pop star too. Westeros is packed full of musical talent, not just Mikhail Yuzman and Jeremy Flynn, but Carrie Carrie's Van Houten too. The actress released pop track rock album See You on the Eyes in 2012 and it's actually pretty good. What next? Peter Dink plays Jazzy Odyssey, Mark Eddy plays the blues. But our absolute favorite fact about Carrie is that her younger sister is fellow actress Jelka Van Houten who played the intrigue Sabine in Channel 4's Fresh Meat. Male and unlikely crossover? Pedro Pascal. He was a Buffy's college pill. The late Oberon Marshall was supremely confident so much so that it ended up costing him himself. So it might come as rather a shock to release that Pedro Pascal's appearance on Buffy Bam. By a slayer saw him play the sensitive and nervous AD in episode 4. A fresh man, the first friend that an uncertain Buffy makes on campus, poor AD is transformed into a vampire, but not before he exposes his passion for the novel of half human bondage. The last prince of O'Brien we imagine would be had a passion for bondage of a different sort.